Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Raga Massey. That was the best one yet. Should we try one more? So cheesy. No, that's good. That's so good. Cheesy. I think we're good. What Brooklyn Raga Massive has done differently than most traditional Indian organizations promoting raga music is that we've introduced an element of democracy. And so we don't all have the same dream. We all have different dreams, but together we're making them come true. And we're doing it here at Pioneer Works. Uh, we've got a three month residency uh, from February through April. Every week we have theme nights, including tonight's Africa India series. We have Ragas in Motion, a dance night. We have Ravi Shankar tribute and the George Harrison tribute. Yeah. And actually, I, just on the c comment that David made about democracy, I think it's we're really close to the Statue of Liberty in this location. I don't know if you walk down the street over here, you can see the Statue of Liberty. And I have a dream wow. that one day the Statue of Liberty won't have a book and a torch, but will have a sitar and a tabla. Mm. So moving. That's a dream. Wow. That's a dream. Deep. And touching on the end, we, have, we do have so many theme nights, including a women's raga massive where we're going to celebrate women composers and artists. Um, we're doing a Carnatic night. We're doing a rock tribute kind of with Zeppelin and Pink Floyd and some of their, uh, how you can hear raga music within yeah. those We're things. having a, a ragas on the moving image night where yeah. we're going to show a Satyajit Ray film and also show some really modern uh, sort of vehicles for the BRM crew to improvise with filmmakers. That's a big aspect of our organization is inclusivity and collaboration and uh, bringing about meaningful dialogue between different musical styles and uh, different musical cultures. Yeah, one thing I remember about Raga Massive was that right after uh, some recent terror attacks in Paris, we actually had an event where we had people of multiple faiths, multiple ethnicities, all dancing together, um, and, pl and, and basically being so joyous in, a, in an environment that maybe, you know, under other conditions would have been so sad. And there was a moment of celebration and inclusivity uh, with a Moroccan group and with, uh, you know, women in hijabs dancing next to just like people from Brooklyn, like hipsters, you know. <laughs> so I think that that message, I think, is very much what we're all about is really um, finding that space where people can feel like they have they're part of a community and something that's like much more important and meaningful than just maybe the the sort of narrow view that a lot of you think you know a lot that you see in the world regarding separating thing people from religion or from race or gender or whatever we really i think are breaking down those barriers